All right, lads. Oh, I can't believe we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. Mm -hmm. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. <laughs> With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope they'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you going to get them to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. He's a mark, just like any other, and every mark has their angle. Find the angle and they'll do whatever you want. I guess that's true. Huh. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Radio. All right, let's see if we can get some loot from this container. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest right. in peace, Bazanova. We could just treat him that that mask we got. Alright, carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Scooter, Scooter those cars one minute and cars now. Uh, Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. Hey, new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many <laughs> locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoping to hand this old girl off to Jenny Jeez, Springs. You know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep. Got me. Hmm. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where'd it all go? <laughs> oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time, and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money, but, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually, yes, I can. <laughs> well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy, but if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what, throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! 
man. You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Go on, do it. Catch up. Yeah, no. No, no, not now. No? All right. Well, I guess there's no harm in saving it for the real deal. Ah, uh, would have been cool. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe <laughs> a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool right? I'm looking all badass at you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. <sighs> Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. <laughs> anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. Sweet. <laughs> I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and stare at him, you know? I know how it is. Optional that bunker, one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me. The badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all the impossibilities, right for the taking. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh... It's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark plugs again. What day is it? Hotness. You sound so nice. I remember uh, one time I was standing around with my friend Smitty, and we were staring cool. at stuff like this, and it was one of those. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. <laughs> Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. <laughs> oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Yeah. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. How to teach him. <laughs> Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a ray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks. Hi, hey man. It was no big deal. <laughs> Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? No. I say we hit the safe house. It'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. I remember when Felix first showed us that place. <laughs> Filthy rat hole. <laughs> Felix is gone, but that stuff should still all be there. And maybe we can get some answers. Yeah. I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay? Scooter the champion. I'm dead.
Rip that shit off. Um, hopefully that means Athena has my back. <laughs> Cause that's definitely Athena. I don't like this. She should really like take off that hat. We shouldn't hang around here too long. This looks ransacked. Looks like he had company while he was away. Hopefully they didn't find the stash. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. Heat. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Felix sure was into science fiction. Happy though. Huh. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax, anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. <laughs> Always nice to see an old friend. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping, it's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Granada. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that was the problem. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. I see it! Right there! Awesome! Push! Alright, lads. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I have a little headache, but, um... There's not really much to say, to be honest. Just, you know, as I go along. Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. <laughs> Guess... That's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. <laughs> 